Hello, in this video we're going to solve for the firm's short run cost functions from a generalized Cobb Douglas production function. So we're going to solve for the firm's seven short run cost functions. We're going to let W equal the wage, R equals the price of capital or the rental rate of capital. And here is our generalized Cobb Douglas production function. Q is a quantity of output, L is units of labor raised to the power of A, K is units of capital raised to the power of B. We're going to hold capital fixed in the short run at k bar. So our first thing is to make a substitution into our production function. k is being held fixed at k bar. So we replace a k with a k bar. Uh, the next step is we want to solve the production function for L, labor. So I'm going to divide both sides through by k bar raised to the power of b. The next step here is we want to just get L by itself. So we are going to raise both the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation by 1 divided by A. So on the left-hand side, this A multiplied by 1 divided by A is just going to cancel and leave us with L. And then on the right-hand side, we can just write Q raised to 1 divided by A and K bar raised to B divided by A. So we got this B here being multiplied by 1 divided by A. So now we're going to create our total cost. So in general, total cost or cost of production is variable cost plus fixed cost. Variable cost is going to be the wage times units of labor. And the fixed cost is going to be the price of capital times units of capital. So we're going to make a substitution in for L. This up here, we're going to plug in for L. And for K, we're going to just plug in K bar because capital is fixed at K bar. So making our two substitutions, we have our cost function. And so here, once again, is our cost function. So that's one of the costs that we have in the short run. Let's find the six others. So let's first get fixed cost. So fixed cost is just this R times K bar. So F will represent fixed cost, and it's just R times K bar. Variable cost is going to be this other component in the cost function. Remember, cost is variable cost plus fixed cost. So we can just simply rewrite this first term here on the right-hand side as representing variable cost. Now let's get average cost. So average cost is our cost function divided through by Q. So dividing each term there on the right hand side by Q. We get this. And we can help clean up uh, these Q's over here a little bit. So moving this Q in the denominator into the numerator, we now get Q raised to the minus 1. And we'll just add these uh, exponents here on the Q term. So this Q minus 1 is the same thing as Q minus A divided by A. Now we've got a common like denominator, and we can add our exponents on the Q variable, and that is our average cost. Average fixed cost, just going to take our fixed cost and divide it through by Q. You'll also notice you see average fixed cost in the average cost equation. Average cost is nothing more than average variable cost plus average fixed cost, so either way, that is our average fixed cost. Average variable cost, we're going to take our variable cost and divide it through by Q. So taking our variable cost from the previous screen and of dividing it through by Q, that's where this Q is showing up right here. And we can again uh, simplify these Q terms, bringing the Q into the numerator, this Q from the denominator, moving it to numerator is now Q to the minus 1. And the Q to the minus 1 is the same thing as minus A divided by A. It's got common like denominators, so we can add up the exponents on the Q term. And we have average variable cost. The last thing we need is marginal cost. So we can get marginal cost by taking the derivative of the cost equation with respect to Q. So we have a Q here. We're going to bring down this 1 divided by A in front. So 
that's where this a is, 1 divided by a, so we have this a now in the denominator. And then we need to subtract 1 from this exponent on the q term, so I do that right there. And then, as we've seen before in our other examples, this right here will simplify to the following, 1 minus a all divided by a. So that is marginal cost. And if we want, we could substitute some values in for the wage, for the price of capital, for the exponents on labor, exponents on capital, and use a fixed level of k-bar. So plugging these values in and simplifying, we get the cost equation. All right, I hope you found this video helpful.